there, y'all. We made it to a little spot. Johnny DK back at it again with another video. I told y'all I was coming with these bangers. I told y'all, man. I know y'all liked the last video. Y'all showed mad love. I appreciate y'all if y'all tuned into my last video. If you haven't, go tune into it. Go show some love. Today, we're doing some POV drives. My tires are bald, so I got to go finish them off. And I got to head to the tire shop, switch out my tires. I also had to um, have the people install the TPMS sensors because the rims I have on right now, they don't have no TPMS sensors. And then once all of that is finished, I'm going to go back home, put the smaller wheel spacers on the front. Like I told y'all in the last video, they finally came in today. And I do have to cut my studs a little bit so I can make it fit because last time the stud of the wheel was hitting the rim. So I wasn't able to, to install the smaller wheel spacers. That's why the front looks so wide because I thought maybe I had to put a, a way bigger wheel spacer, but I did some research and I didn't know I could cut the wheel space. I mean the stud. The stud has like this much extra room that doesn't have thread on it. So I could just cut it off and hopefully it fits. I'm hoping, but we gonna get some POV drives on the way to the tire shop. Stay tuned. <clears throat> And I forgot to say, if y'all didn't subscribe to my YouTube channel, make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all hit the like button and drop a comment on how you feeling about my videos. Give me some feedback and just talk to me. I read every single one of your comments. It helps me improve my videos. Just tell me like what's going on and where I can improve in my videos. I read all of the comments, so just help me out. Throw some ideas in the comments, YouTube video ideas. I'm going to get to all of them. So... Comment down below. All right, y'all, so we going to get some gas right now. As y'all can see, I got the babies right here. Um, I did find a great deal on these. These are basically brand new tires. I got them both for a hundred bucks. Y'all see I had to buckle this thing in so it don't fall out. But I got to fill up some gas right quick before heading over to the tire shop. This thing eats gas like crazy. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like this this car eats more gas than a, than a Hellcat. I can't even lie to y'all. Lately, this weather has not been it. It's been raining every day down here in South Florida, and it just really just messes up the motion, man. Like, come on, bro. When is it gonna stop raining? That's, that's what I wanna know. When will it stop raining? But overall, I love how the car drives. Like the whole, this I'm gonna give a little review. So the whole angle kit with the with the hydro, that's just it's just different, boy. Compared to when I first spun this car, it feels like a whole different car. When I spun this car, when it was bone stock, it was so trash. I couldn't believe it. I was like, damn, bro. Hopefully this angle kit changes it up and it and it drifts better. And it did, it, it drifts great. I actually love how the car feels. So last time I was all in first gear, we gotta try some stuff in second gear. My first gear is kind of long, so that's why I wasn't really shifting to second, but I had a few people in the comments on my Instagram tell me that I should go to second gear. It, it'll feel way better. So we just gotta see what they talking about, man. Chevron is mandatory. Chevron is mandatory, y'all boys. If you stay in South Florida, y'all boys know what I'm talking about. We 
gonna fill up some gas right quick. Give you guys a nice little outside view of how the car looks. Oh my my uh parking brake still works. Like everything is good. My dumbass thought that it was a uh, it had to do with the actual caliper itself, but I didn't know that it it's on the inside of the disc and it spreads out to like hold the disc from moving so my parking brake still works i'm lit i'm lit y'all boys let me oh i do gotta get used to how low this whip is bro get my bag These tires is way too out. Hope when I do put the smaller wheel spacers, it's gonna go in like like this much. So gonna do my little glitch right quick, you feel me? And we filling this thing up, man. I love this the silver tail lights just makes the car look good i do gotta repaint these wheels but stay tuned for that we gonna do that later on oh what's going on ain't no way it's full get back to y'all when i get in the car all right y'all we just filled up what what it was 44 dollars i saved 15 dollars $44 to fill this thing up down here. Not bad. I do gotta figure out what that noise is. I don't really know. Quick little sign. to the tire shop y'all they're gonna put on the tires right now all right we at the tire shop uh i have the the tire pressure sensors can you put can you put all of them in everything every everything but just change the back four tires only Damn, as y'all can see, we was almost down to the wire, but I did pretty even burn on the tread. 
y'all could see i'm just a little bit negative this was the inside this was the outside just a little bit negative in the future i do gotta order a, a zero camber kit for the vet so yeah the the hellcat was 10 times worse than this it will burn all the way right here less here and then it would look brand new on the outside on the hellcat so that's a little bit better than the hellcat at least I see all the meat that's going on there ready for this weekend stay tuned for the next video we go into the compound so stay tuned we got about to go crazy and that's it the car is done new wheel sensors and new tires on the back we good to go all right y'all so yesterday I did not have enough time to put on the wheel spacers, but I did get all of the tire situation handled with the TPMS sensors. Right now I'm going to G exhaust to check if I have an exhaust leak because it does sound like something might be opened down here in my exhaust. So I'm gonna just have him put it on the lift and look at it. Uh, we had any G exhaust right now. Let me know how y'all like that little drifting footage. I know it wasn't much because I had bald tires, but it was something though. Stay tuned for my next video. I'm gonna either go to the compound or go to Freedom Factory to drift my, my vet. So stay tuned for the next video, it's gonna be crazy. I do wanna do reaction videos like with other people in the car. I was thinking maybe like my grandma, my mom, my girlfriend, stuff like that. Get some funny reactions, my friends and stuff. I'm, all those videos are coming up in the future. So stay locked into my YouTube channel. We about to go stupid. Oh, police right there. We about to pull into the G exhaust. Them boys be getting me right, boy. <laughs> to work, to jack the car up, put it on stands, lay down on the ground after the car is hot already. Boy, that, the car be burning you up. It's so hot outside today too. Like, I don't even want to get under this car while the exhaust is hot. It's like, the, the heat from outside and plus the, the engine, I'm gonna burn up down there. So I did install the whole exhaust system. I, I installed everything on this car. I know I told y'all already, but I did double check to make sure my bolts were tight, but it does seem like something is loose. Like, cause I know it's not supposed to sound like this. I could, I don't know if you guys could hear it, but it does sound a little weird. Just sounds like something's open. Pulling into G exhaust right now. to G exhaust y'all boys it is crazy hot outside man I'd be struggling to get out this car Ugh. G exhaust make sure y'all hit him up That's how the vet looking What's going on, bro? Where's G? He's inside? They about to pull it in right now to check it out. All right, guys, I left G exhaust. Them boys told me that I don't have any exhaust leaks. They did a full inspection on my exhaust. They put it on the lift. They looked at everything. They said I have no leaks. My guess is I'm hearing it come from the shifter, the exhaust, because it's fiberglass. There's not enough like a, of a noise barrier there. It's only fiberglass. And I did take apart the cup holder and 
a lot of other things there for my hydraulic e-brake so that might be why i could hear it coming loud from bo the bottom there but there is no leaks so i just want to say thank you to g exhaust them boys do good work and right now we about to put on the smaller wheel spacers i do got to cut the five studs on each side in the front to make the wheel fit i am gonna start working on it right now so i'm gonna just give you a little time lapse of me working on it change of plans just like how florida weather changes plans it was looking sunny one minute and then one minute later it's about to rain so i didn't even start doing the wheel spacers i'm not gonna do it in this video but if you're still watching right now i want to say thank you for making it this far hit the like button drop a comment stay tuned for the next video we're gonna get drifting content again so stay tuned i love y'all johnny dk i'm out